What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Asian Cinema Takeout channel. I'm Jesse Midnight Crawler, and it's time for a pickups video. But before I get into that, let me give you the heads up on the latest issue of Asian Cinema Takeout. This is a special bootleg issue where the emphasis is on the girls, guns, and the gangsters. Collaboration between me and Dave K. We went ahead and went with a advertisement, sort of a newsprint ad uh, theme. And yeah, I hope you guys check it out. I will leave a link in the description below where you can uh, check it out for free and also download it for your leisure. That's going to be the latest special bootleg zine of Asian Cinema Takeout fanzine. Girls, Guns, and Gangsters. All right, let's continue on with the pickups. Kicking off with Japanese cinema. Recently picked up Outrage on Blu-ray. And uh, one that I really enjoyed the first time I watched it. And I can't wait to revisit this. And as well as the sequels afterwards. But yeah, that's a, that's a fun one right there. Some Takashi beat. I uh, also picked up Blood, The Last Vampire anime. Absolutely solid flick. Finally caught it for the first time like a year or two ago via Tubi. And glad to have a physical copy in my collection now. Next up, we have Samurai School. This is uh, stars uh, Tak Sakaguchi. He also directed the film. Uh, it's not going to be the greatest film, but it does have its fun moments. And just happy to have it for the Tak collection. All right. I picked up a bunch of Switchblade picture uh, flicks. Uh, they were on sale at Right Stuff Anime. I believe that's a website. They're like two bucks a pop. You can't beat that. So first up, we have Gun Q War Pigeon, which is really bad, but kind of a fun Birdemic-like flick. If you've ever seen Birdemic, you know what I'm talking about. All right, next up, we have Death Row Girls, and this is your basic woman in prison kind of flick, and it's just cheesy fun. Also, Chain Gang Girls, another one in the same vein. Uh, this one is a bit better, but still, if I had to rate them, 6 out of 10, but still lots of fun for me. Next up is one I haven't seen yet. It's called Key Guy. Seems to be a, a series, maybe a few episodes, but it's an hour and 30 minutes, so I'm thinking uh, maybe 20 minute episodes. Who knows? I have no idea what this is about yet, but I'll eventually get to that. All right. I just got these in today when I checked the mailbox. I took advantage of that $2 sale. Uh, I picked up Hellhole, Inmate 611. Now, this one seems to be a bit more sleazy as it was uh, labeled adult. And looking at the back, so I'll show you guys it seems to be a bit steamy and I also picked up the sequel Hellcage Inmate 611 part 2 uh, looks to be some more of your same old same old with the adult sleazy theme and women in prison kind of flick next up is one that I was really curious about uh, it kind of like sucked me in into uh, picking it up the Yosenki Battle Chronicle uh, yeah this seems to be like a man with a motorcycle on the back it says Vengeance rides a steel horse. <laughs> so I'm kind of looking forward to checking this one out. I'll probably get to that one quick, quicker than the others. All right. Did pick up one South Korean flick, uh, courtesy of Big Lots. I picked up Believer. Uh, this was a, uh, it says on the back, based on Johnny Toe's Drug War. So I am looking forward to checking it out. It does look familiar. I think I've seen it around the pickup circles, but uh, maybe I've even seen it. I have no idea. Uh, it's from 2018, I believe, but look forward to checking that out. All right, let's jump into some Indonesian cinema. And uh, what do we have here? What do we have here? I want to make sure it's Indonesian. I don't want to mess things up. It is. Uh, Headshot. Eco, man. From my Eco Uwais collection. And um, Headshot's probably my favorite Eco flick that I've seen so far. I've seen a, a few. And um, man, I never get tired of watching this movie, to tell you the truth. It's just an absolute... An absolute favorite of mine. Julia Stell, awesome in this as well. And also picked up Marenthal, which I was kind of late to the party when it came to watching it. Watched it for the first time last year. And since then, I've seen it a few times because I've been putting my friends and family onto it. So I watch it with them. But now I picked up a physical copy, courtesy of Dollar Tree for a buck. And uh, let's continue on with some Hong Kong Chinese cinema. I was very happy to score this VHS copy of Return of the Dragon. I've been wanting it. Uh, to revisit this. It's been years since I've seen it. Some Bruce Lee goodness right here versus Chuck Norris. Classic fight scene. And uh, it's one I definitely need to get to ASAP. I've been neglecting my VCR, to tell you the truth. All right, next up we have The Game Changer. Uh, man, to tell you the truth, this one was <sighs> balls to the wall fun, man. Lots of action, over the top action. Uh, some good martial arts sequences, but the body count is ridiculous and absolutely had a blast watching this. 
One I'm happy to add to the collection again is The Forbidden Kingdom, starring Jet Li, Jackie Chan, and the hottie Li Bing Bing. And uh, it's been a while since I've seen it. I had it in the collection years ago. Don't know what happened to it. So just happy to have it again. This was a pawn shop pickup for a buck. And we're going to finish things off with some Thai cinema. I found a bunch of these at Dollar Tree. All Blu-rays too. Can't beat that for a buck. I picked up Legend of the Tsunami Warrior. This looks to be looks like some good epic adventure odyssey kind of out in the water, out in the high seas kind of fun. And uh, looking forward to checking this out. Vanquisher. I've seen this one on Tubi, like not watched it, but I've just seen it advertised on there. Uh, you know, it looks it looks to be like some martial arts fun. I see it right here. They're promoting Sofita Sabin as uh, being a martial arts star. So really curious to check in this out. Girls with swords. I'm down. All right. At the Gate of the Ghosts. This one seems to be another epic. Um, looking forward to checking it out eventually. And uh, yeah, At the Gate of the Ghosts. Lots of rewards right here, as you see. Who knows? Now, these two I did watch. First up, we have The Gangster. The Gangster was freaking awesome it's like watching a thai version of um goodfellas man this one goes through like the 60s and the 70s the progression of the thai underworld and this downfall basically when the cops took over but it's really good stuff and finally we're going to finish things off with power kids power kids was just a total blast kids kicking ass and uh these two kids in particular the boy and the girl right here at the very top they stole the show their scenes were really good when it came to the action sequences. And this one was just a lot of fun. Well, that's going to be it, guys, for Agent Cinema Takeout fanzines. Latest pickups. Definitely check out the issue. Bootleg version. Special edition of Girls, Guns, and Gangsters. And like I said, the link will be down below. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.